What is going on my YouTube fitness type people? It's Nick Boletto from Boletto Brigade bringing you guys, that's right, a workout video. It's been a few weeks. Uh, the last video that you saw me do any lifting in was actually my PR video, which was like three weeks ago. So I said, I gotta bring you guys some more lifting. So here we go. The title of this video is gonna be Back to Basics, as you can see, and the reason being is because you can tell that I am not running the conjugate system. Uh, just straight up, I think the conjugate system is great. I think my programming for it was good, um, but I just really missed doing regular squats and regular deadlifts. So, you know, unless you are a bodybuilder who's a week or two weeks out from a show and you're on super restricted calories, I'm a big believer that you should be enjoying your time in the gym. And I just wasn't really enjoying uh, not being able to do regular squats and regular deadlifts. So I'm going, I'm not really on a system, I'm not really on a planned program. I'm kind of following Omar Esoff's video on Prilipins or Prilipins table, which I will link that video in the info box below if you are interested in learning more. So basically, I started off with a 4x4 in the squat at 260 pounds that's what i did last week this video which you're watching is kind of like my second week it's a four by three at 265 i started off the deadlifts with a two by six at 340 and this week is a two by four at 355 uh, you're gonna see all the sets of the squats you also already saw uh, two warm-up sets on the squats. You're going to see one warm-up set in the deadlifts and unfortunately only one by four at 355 on the deadlifts. Overall guys, this workout was really, really good. Um, right before I came to the gym, I watched a titanium fitness, Tyler Yasuda. I'll link his channel in the info box below because the dude is super strong super aesthetic and super intelligent as well and he recently uh, I believe it was yesterday put out a video about squat stance and femur length and torso length um, I think we have a similar build I'm not totally sure but I know that I have really long legs and I have a relatively short torso for being six foot one so I decided that usually I keep my feet probably about a foot and a half to two feet uh, apart during my squats but I said I'm gonna widen them out not quite to a sumo stance obviously because I don't have the mobility to hit depth but I put them out a little bit further probably about two and a half feet from each other maybe only two feet um, basically I would just go as far as I could and hopes that my feet were wide enough that as far as I could was depth and not any further this allows me to get the sprain effect at the bottom that he talked about in his most recent video. Um, all of these squats felt really good. They were kind of slow. They weren't as explosive as I usually am. However, I didn't miss any reps and I kind of had the confidence that I was gonna get every rep even though they weren't super fast. Um, up until the very last rep of the uh, four by three, um, I thought they were all good. The depth on the very last one was a bit questionable. Now we're moving on to the deadlifts. This is a warm up at 315. And then I hit a set of four at 355, which you will see right about now. So uh, thanks for watching the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. By the way, I'm starting to keep track of my total training volume for the week for the big three. And I will include all of that information in the info box below in case you happen to give a fuck because this was the last workout of the week. Tomorrow is Monday. I have four classes on Monday, so I'm going to be taking Mondays off. Tomorrow is a rest day. Again, thanks for watching the video, guys. I hope you liked it. If you did like it, remember to like the video, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.